we're quite excited about the commencement of this year. We've got a few things that we're really excited about. Take for example in February. February is a time in which we just launch our vision and we get excited about who we are as a church and so on. In the month of March, we're going to be talking about evangelism, about our role in reaching out to our loved ones and our friends and our work colleagues and so on, all leading up to Easter, where we're going to be having a big Easter outreach. It's going to involve things like the Community Fun Day, which is going to be on March 29 up at Hillcrest. We're combining forces with Hillcrest, really looking forward to that. We're going to have youth and children's outreaches. We're going to have special services. Church, keep on praying that we will see people come to know Jesus Christ as Lord and Saviour. Hey church family, for the last five or so years we've been running a mentoring program at Clover Hill. It's one student for one hour with one mentor. It's a great way to make a positive difference in a student's life. If you want to get involved, please come and see me. We're in desperate need of mentors and really would appreciate it. Thanks guys. If we want to be a beacon of God's light in this area, what better way than serve one of our non-Christian schools? I've been a mentor out at Clover Hill School for five years and I've had the one child all the way through from grade three to through to grade seven. So if you're thinking, sitting out there thinking, what could I do to help this church? Help our community and help one of these young children that just need a help. After the 40 days of prayer and fasting, we are commencing a weekly prayer gathering called Dynamis Hour. Dynamis is the Greek word for dynamite, uh, and it also means power, as mentioned in Acts chapter 1, verse 8. Church, I'd like to encourage you, if you can, to come along to our weekly prayer gathering, known as Dynamis Hour, on every Wednesday, starting at 7 p.m., finishing at 8 p.m. We're going to be praying for our community, our church, and our missionaries. Hope to see you there. I'm going to be leading it, and it's going to be a great time of just praying to our Lord for the various needs that we have before us. Hi guys, uh, really excited. Our annual concert's going to be on at the end of this month. It's Sean W. Smith. He's an amazing children's Christian entertainer. Fabulous music, some great skits, and we really hope you'd love to come along, bring your friends. It's going to be a great night of entertainment. We've got Jumping Castle, Bungie Run. We've got food, the canteen's open. We'd love to see you there. Also, all the proceeds are going to go towards sponsoring kids for our Dare to Be Daniel camp. We'd love to see you at that concert. Across the galaxy to rescue us on earth. I said, Jesus. 2014 Youth Ministry is going to go off at Reedy. I am so excited about what we have planned. Fridays are going to be awesome. For the first time here at Reedy, we're going to split the youth ministry. It's something we haven't done before, and I think it's going to be great. Great seven to nines, get your own space. Don't have to be bothered by the all the more mature, boring ones in grade 10 to 12. You guys can have ballistic fun without worrying about them, doing whatever you want in your own space. Grade 10 to 12s, don't worry, they're not going to annoy you. You get your own space to chill out, you know, talk, discuss, and play some really fun things that are going to be age appropriate. So we're having our own space on Fridays, unless of course we go out and do something epic like ice skating, bowling, rock climbing, we're going to go skating at Epic Skate and Tweed, a whole lot of different events planned, smash at White Water World. We're going to be hitting White Water up for a night for three hours. It's going to be great. We'll do all those together and we'll get a bus in there. But generally, you're going to be split up and meeting people your own age and connecting with really good relationships. The other thing I'm really excited about this year for you is our life groups for teens. It's the first time we've done this at this church again, and we're going to have life groups for teens on a Sunday. So what will happen if you're grade 7, 8, or 9, your life group, both male and female, will run on Sunday morning during the morning service. So you'll meet out there, you'll have discussion, some food, snacks, activities, all talking about what Jesus is doing in our lives and what he wants us to, to do in our lives for him going forward. Grade 10 to 12, you guys will meet on Sunday afternoons at 3.30 before the night service which is of course where you all want to hang out. So Sunday afternoons, girls, you're going to be meeting down at Zarafas. Going to enjoy some coffee, enjoy some socialising, as well as getting into the Bible and seeing what it has to offer us for truth for our lives, as well as praying for each other and just sharing encouragement with one another every week. Guys, we're doing the same thing here. You get a bit more physical and we're going to share a journey with life together if you're in grade 10, 11 or 12. So make sure 3.30 Sunday afternoons and then that'll be finished by about 5 o'clock which is in time to come and hang out here and enjoy the night service together. 
So make sure that if you're in grades 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 or 12, that you are here on Friday nights for an awesome youth ministry and that you're part of a life group either on a Sunday morning or a Sunday afternoon. And together we're going to see some great things happen in this youth in 2014.